guys, it's Krista from Design Your Life. I don't know about you, but when I was new, I designed everything in Design Space because that was all I knew. So I would often have things in one project that I needed to get into another project. I didn't want to have to totally recreate it. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have this little Ninjago from the Lego show that my son loves. And I also have a full silhouette of the same little guy. I want to get his full background over to here so I can cut out a full color behind him and then lay this over it. What I would do is I would turn these grids off. I am on a laptop. This would be the same for a desktop. There's also a way to do it on the app and I will show that in the next video. So you just click this little corner right up in here and this toggles the grid lines. So I'm going to turn them totally off. Next, I'm going to take a clip of just this little guy here. I am on a Mac. So for me, it is shift command four, and then this comes up. Then I just click down and drag. For Windows, there is a method to do it. And I'll add a caption right down here of what that is. So next, I would go over to my other window I have, and I would just go to upload. Hit upload image, browse, and he should be right in my recents. Yep, right here. I'm gonna select him, complex, continue. And this little guy is going to have a lot of little things. I'm probably just going to fast forward this, so bear with me. And we're done. So next I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to save as a cut image. He's going to upload him. And now, let me just change his color. And now I have them all together. Ta-da. Now, what you also heard me say is that ideally you shouldn't be designing design space because of things like this. It's nice to save files by themselves so that you can combine them all. Not only that, but design space, it really, it might be called design space, but it doesn't have very many features to actually design. And if you've never used any kind of vector software, um, I really think you you would love it. Illustrator is my personal go-to and it is extremely powerful. It can do anything you could imagine and that is what I recommend. If you're looking for something free, Inkscape, um, Silhouette Basic. If you do want to export an SVG from Silhouette Basic, you can just buy a, pay a one-time fee for their license. I think I paid like $40, $50 and I have it forever and it's a great program. It also has a lot of great features like embroidery and rhinestones and oh, so much, but enough about that. Like I said, you shouldn't really be designing in design space. So what if you have Cricut Access and you want to use one of their images and you want to kind of tweak it a bit, right? There's something about it you don't like or you want to change. How would you get it out of here, right? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's say we have this hockey mama, but maybe we want to like add some swirls and such onto it. And yeah, we could finagle it in design space, but it would be so much harder than just doing it in Illustrator. Just turn these little guys off. Okay. So I'm just gonna come in and enlarge this. And now I'm just gonna, same thing, toggle this off. Screenshot it. And now I'm going to go in to Adobe Illustrator. And I'm just gonna open that in here. Open. Now I need this to be an SVG, so I'm gonna image trace it, silhouettes. I always change it to see outline to source image to see how close I am to the original. This is pretty darn close and I'm gonna hit expand. And now I could just come in here and let me just hit ungroup. B for brush. And then I'm going to come in and I just wanna enlarge this. Yeah, that matches pretty well. Just add my little swirlies. And then I'd add something like like this. This is just something quick. Um, and I could just... This isn't something we need to learn today, but I just want to make it real for myself real quick. And then something like this, and I could have added my little swirlies. I don't really like that. And maybe I'll just go ahead and like change this a little bit. But yeah, something like that. Well, right here it doesn't really match up the best. You would just clean that up a bit, but you know, you get my point. Then I could bring this in here 
and I could edit it. So that's a way you can take Cricut Access images. It also works with text if there's some text in Cricut that is Cricut Access. And you're like, I love this text, but I just really want to tweak it. It would be the same thing. You would just hit text and then hello. And then I would just select what text I want. Okay, look at this one. It's got some little curlies. Um, maybe we want to change something about this. Maybe we want these to be more rounded right here. It would be the same premise. We could just screenshot it. Boom. And again, you could just screenshot it and upload it if you don't have Cricut Access and you want to use something. That is up to your moral compass, not mine. I'm just saying what is possible. And then we again, we just go over here and bring it in. But I mean, you see, you can really do whatever you want. And then I could just, you know, export as SVG and send it over. And that is how you would get something from inside of Cricut, either into another Cricut project or into something like Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape so you can tweak it and work on it. Again, this is all avoidable if you just design in Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or Silhouette, design somewhere else in the first place. And then it's very simple to bring things together and edit them. But if you started in um, Cricut Design Space and you need to get things from project to project or maybe you've moved on to a new software and you want to get them out of design space and into your new software that is how i would do it so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm also going to cover how to do this on an ipad an iphone an android device so stay tuned for that video as always thank you for watching hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video i will be uploading new videos every thursday and sunday i plan to be doing a video on how to use your Cricut machine for planner stickers when i first got a Cricut, i was really disappointed that i couldn't cut insets and offsets like a silhouette machine could do Cricut basically likes to cut around the edges of a design. You can't really choose where you want it to cut on that design. And I have found a way to do that. And it still uses registration marks, but you can choose exactly where your cut lines are. It's something I have not seen anybody else do yet. And I'm very excited to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also check out my Facebook group, Cricut Design, SVG Tutorials, and Free Files. Hope to see you back.